media fail to adopt a global perspective. So they will focus on stories either at the local level or the national level and often don't put that in a wider global context. It's about presenting the story in a, in a different way. So the, the, what you, when you're saying floods of people are arriving at the border, um, it, it's, it sends a sort of fair tremor or like an earthquake through the community. If you get confusion between the words, then you're, um, you're making more than just confusion. You're giving or pulling away rights from people. For example, because uh, they are just migrant workers and they don't need special treatment like asylum seekers, for example, who are fleeing from a war. I come from a journalistic background. I worked as a journalist. Uh, you always want to catch a headline. Um, and it triggers images uh, amongst readers. Uh, but unfortunately, the use of uh, those uh, metaphors and similes tend to be alarmist. In many instances, uh, we, we are interested in, pe in people that talk the loudest, and we forget about uh, those that are most affected uh, by whatever actions are in place, governmental, intergovernmental, uh, and so on and so forth. So the very first step that I would take as a journalist is to listen and listen to those that are most affected by the problem. The most problematic area is the tendency of some media to take the easy option of uh, reporting very often in a sensational manner the extreme uh, views of some certain political groups. And we, and we see that as a problem. It's, it's rushing to grab a headline, it's rushing to grab a soundbite, um, and very often that can create a good headline, it can generate uh, immediately uh, uh, popular uh, coverage, but unfortunately it tells a story which is often distorted, and that's the major problem. The media are an important social institution. Uh, they reflect what might be the dominant views in society. For example, if the rhetoric is uh, anti, you know, uh, migrants, you're likely to have um, a community that is uh, ill-informed, a community that is going to be negatively disposed towards such a community. And in some cases, in fact, I should say, in the worst case scenario, uh, such portrayals could lead to social exclusion and even violence.